Now, the B vitamins literally play as a family. So in most cases, if you were to supplement the B vitamins, you'd often take them in what we call a B complex. So all of the B vitamins are usually taken together. However, there are instances where individuals need to take a single B vitamin at a time. So we'll work through the different B vitamins so you understand, but be aware that you'll often find them sold in complexes for that reason. Now, vitamin B1 is important for energy because what it does is it converts carbohydrates to fuel. So carbohydrate is our energy sustaining food group, which helps to give us fuel. But if you're low in B1, then you're less likely to convert that carbohydrate to fuel, which can lead to fatigue and lethargy. So it's important from that point of view. We know that vitamin B1 is also important to strengthen the immune system. So the immune system needs lots of different nutrients and B1 is just one of them. And also, you know, some of the food sources, the easiest way to remember vitamin B1 is kind of peas, beans and lentils. So lots of our pulses family contain rich amounts of vitamin B1. We can also get it in our algae sauce, so spirulina, which you can take in a powder form or you can take it in a, a capsule. And we also have a source of it in oranges too. You can see the range of foods here on the board. Now, how do we know that we might be deficient in vitamin B1? Well, one of the key signs is a very red, painful tongue. So a beefy red tongue. So the tongue can feel sore and inflamed and often will touch the sides of your mouth and have teeth marks in it because it's essentially swollen. This can also lead to mouth ulcers, but mouth ulcers in isolation are also a sign of vitamin B1 deficiency. Fatigue, depression um, and memory loss, possibly because we're not converting our carbohydrates to fuel efficiently. Now, because we've talked quite a bit about the B vitamins as a family, it's always a good idea to include them all together. And this is a great recipe for you to get all of your B vitamins in. It's a lovely bean recipe. So you can see that in here we have diverse um, sources of our B vitamins. We've got different kind of beans. Um, we've got spinach in there, which we know is also a delivery of, of B vitamins. And we've got courgettes and garlic amongst other things. So I would urge you to try this recipe because it's, you know, it's a really great way. We always want to get as much of our vitamins through food and this is a good way to capture as many of them in, in one serving as possible.